If you're feeling stuck in life, if you're feeling unmotivated, if you're uninspired, or if you're just burnt out, this video is for you. Hey y'all, I'm Taryn from Earth to Mars. I make personal development content for millennial women, INTJ personality type content, and I'm starting a second channel very soon that will have my travels and everyday life. So if you are into any of those things, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification. In this video, I'm talking about different things that you can start doing today if you are feeling stuck in life. And I also have a blog post that I've written on this topic, so be sure to check that out too because I have great tips in there that I will not be listing in this video. So tip number one, practice gratitude. If you're feeling unmotivated or if you're feeling stuck in life, just uninspired, it can be very easy to forget about the things that you do have already. Showing gratitude for the things you have right now is what's going to set the foundation for your success. It's going to set the foundation for you to start making these changes. So whatever it is that you already have in your life, be sure you are grateful for it. You may have a bed to sleep in. You may have a car to drive. You may have clothes to put on every morning. You may have food to eat every day. So the absolute first thing you need to do is to remember to be grateful for what you have right now. Tip number two is to take a vacation. Usually anytime where I feel stuck or uninspired in life is because I am well overdue for a vacation. Every now and then our body sends us little signals like, hey, you need to take a break. So if you're feeling run down, worn down, ask yourself, when was the last time you went on vacation? It could be something as small as staying in for a few days, taking a few days off of work and making it a staycation. Or it could be something where you are traveling to a different location, your phone is on do not disturb, and you are just taking some time for yourself. Don't underestimate the power of a really good vacation because it could be exactly what you need. Tip number three is to take a sabbatical. Sabbaticals are when you take an extended leave from your job to focus on enrichment activities possibly, or you could be taking time off to help take care of a sick family member or a sick friend for a little while. Basically, it's just some time off for yourself that you can use for something that really needs to be done or a break that you possibly may need. So if your job offers that, maybe take a little time off if you can, or if you don't know if they offer it, I would definitely ask about it or see if they have some type of a leave program in place, but it is very helpful. The fourth tip that I give you if you're feeling stuck in life is to consider a career change. Now this one can be a pretty scary one for some people, I'm sure, especially if you've been working at the same job in the same career for years and years and years, but sometimes that may be what you need. Do you feel excited when you wake up for work in the morning? Are you feeling challenged within your career path? And do you see yourself staying within this career for the next five to 10 years? These are all questions that you should be asking yourself if you are feeling uninspired or unmotivated and if you think your job may be the reason for that. Just know that you are not stuck in a career that you may not possibly want and just know that you can start over to find something that you like better. So if you think your career is the culprit of you feeling uninspired or unmotivated, you may want to think of some alternatives that you can do. The next tip if you're feeling uninspired in life is to make a list of desires. What are some things that you want for yourself? And are you working towards anything right now? Do you want a new car? Do you want a new house? Or maybe you want to move to a new city or a new state or a new country. What is it that you want? If you have something that you're working towards in life, you won't feel so aimless. I personally write down all of my desires in a manifestation journal. I have a video that I created on how I made that. I'll link it up here if you want to make one for yourself. But having your desires written down somewhere and just working towards them will give you so much purpose. The next tip if you're feeling uninspired or unmotivated in life is to learn a new skill. It could be a skill that's related to your career or it could be something completely unrelated. Either is fine, just something to help get your brain juices flowing again, basically. Learning something new or mastering a new skill will give you so much purpose because every day you will wake up and you'll be even more motivated to learn about this new skill. So learn a new skill if you're not already and just see how it works for you. More times than not, you'll just feel better. You'll feel more 
productive. You'll feel more driven. So try learning a new skill and then gauge how it makes you feel maybe a couple of months down the line. The last tip that I have for you if you're feeling unmotivated or stuck in life is to let go of fear. Sometimes when we're feeling stuck or unmotivated is because we are afraid of the unknown. We're afraid of doing something completely new and possibly failing at it. Letting go of fear is easier said than done, I know, but just remember that on the other side of fear is abundance, is prosperity, is inspiration. So let go of fear if you can because it is not helping you. And I also have a free online course that I created that is extremely helpful for if you are feeling stuck in life. It's the exact same process that I went through when I was in a super dark, unmotivated, uninspired part of my life and the transformation that I got from it was mind blowing. It gave me a plan of action so I was able to pull myself out from that state of unhappiness that I was in and I was able to start making changes in my life to help me get inspired again, to help me find that motivation. So I'll link my free course for you down below in the description box if you are ready to start transforming your life too. So I hope this video was helpful to you and be sure to check out my blog post that has other tips on this topic that I don't have listed in this video. And I will see you in the next one.